Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of our Shrine Guide. Today we're going to be going over Shrine number 2, which is the Wago Kata Shrine. So, uh, if you're paying attention and you're following along with me here, the first shrine you would have gotten is the Boshkala Shrine. If you're just tuning in, then what you're going to want to do, if you miss this one, is go right to the Boshkala Shrine. And you want to go north. I know that I haven't filled this map in yet. Trust me, it'll get there. But you want to go north until you can see... This little stable right here. What this is, this I believe is the lakeside stable. Once you get here, you can kind of see the shrine just peeking up over the ridge. It's literally right next door. It's straight in front of your face. It's not that hard to find. Yeah, pretty simple piece of cake. You can just literally climb up over the little hill after you uh, stock up, maybe cook some food here. That's the riverside stable, not the lakeside stable. You also get a side quest if you want to do the side quests. I uh, found a pot lid, but I can't carry it. Uh, so we're just gonna go jump right on into that shrine real quick. We'll come deal with the Riverside Stable later. So sprint on over here. Come on, birdie! The Wago Kata Shrine. Here we are. So we'll skip through all that. Whee! Okay, yep. So we're. I'm literally gonna be going in order. Um, I have the whole thing planned out. So. Um, I honestly recommend that if you guys want to just kind of uh, quote unquote do an LP, um, I suggest kind of hunting shrines by area, which is exactly what I do. So there's good for that mount. So this shrine is the Metal Connection Shrine. So this one is obviously going to be using, take a guess, this one. We're going to be using our freaking Kinesis boat here. And as you can see, if you come to the right hand side, you get three little blocks and you're like okay well, what the hell these are climbable blocks so that's the fun part now what you're going to want to do is since we obviously getting up there is not going to be that hard it's going to be pretty simple just to restack your blocks and climb up so but there should be a chest which there is it's easily missable if you guys just instantly go to start moving blocks so go ahead climb on up kick open your box get another amber which is another thing you can sell. Once again, do not sell your Pacobling Guts. I will, you will just trust me, you will regret it, you will regret it, you will regret it. Do not sell them. They make for decent cash, but don't sell them. So you're just gonna grab this block. And you're just gonna, boop, that block. And I'm just gonna go stab it right there. And we're just gonna lightly drop it. I think you can do it on two. Oh, yeah, you can. Okay, I lied. I lied. I lied. Gotta get the third one too. That's right. Easy enough. So you basically just restack your blocks once. Climb your way up. All right. And then you get here. Oh look, you have a gate. Joy. So here's where the fun, fun part comes in. The fun, fun part. Yay. You get to restack your blocks a second time. Whee! Yay. So what you're going to want to do is you get to restack your blocks. And you want to stack them, again, three high. But you want to stack it where you can uh, use... Uh, the metal grate's going to be kind of at an angle here. And you're going to use it as a ramp to get up. So you kind of want to move them close, but not too close. And you want to just kind of... No! I fucked it up. Ah! Shit. Well, alright. That's the kind of hard part. Yeah, this should be a safe distance at least. Alright. So, if you fuck it up, don't worry about it. It's not that big a deal. You just climb over here. The good news is your magnesis has a pretty long time. See? You can get all, ooh, whoa, actually, you can't reach it. That's, you should be able to. Wow. I fucked this up, too. Damn. Wow, I didn't make it far enough. Uh, that sucks. All right, I'll, I'm going to cut real quick just to fix it. Actually, you know what? Maybe I don't have to cut. That was actually a pretty simple fix, I think. With that, we should be close enough. Really? Wow. Okay. 
That's ridiculous. This didn't give me this much trouble last time. That was... There it goes. Alright, so now we picked it up. Hooray. So now you can kind of... And you can kind of see my point of where you need it. So what you're going to want to do is where you screwed it up this much. Um, if you end up fucking it up like I do, you can just leave it right there. And since you're going to be on the ground anyway, just grab the block. And just kind of scooch it over a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Boop. And with that, that should be plenty of room. You can just kind of scooch the booch. Tilt it a little bit. And ta-da! Alright, so now you're just going to climb your way up. Boink. You have to leave enough room for you to get him climb up top here, otherwise this will push you off. But yep, you climb up, you jump off. Ta-da! Yay! Shrine. Orb. Yummy. Alright, so that's the Wagokata Shrine. I will see you guys for the third shrine here in a little while. Thanks so much for watching. Drop a like if you guys are enjoying this content so far, and if I helped you guys out. I'll see you later.